Well, let's see what song are we going to do today? Teachers want their students to have every opportunity they deserve. So much so, they'll spend their own money on their class. I would say probably between like 200 and 400 dollars through the whole year. It is financially can be straining. Maruka Salazar. Your hands are to yourself and everyone's on their picture. Is an early education teacher at Monroe Elementary in Westwood. Actually, I'm a mother and a teacher, so I, I kind of split my money between my children and then my students. She says the financial strain is worth it because it's for the kids. You know, they're my hope for a better future and I really believe in our youth. It gives me the opportunity to give back to my community as well as empower them. Today, the Tuckman Family Foundation is hoping they can ease the burden on teachers. It's all about thank you, thank you, thank you. Ken Tuckman says educators in Colorado are underpaid and often underappreciated. Their schools don't have the budgets to even provide the basic supplies that the classrooms need. He says it's why they fulfilled the classroom wish lists of 70 teachers at three elementary schools in Westwood. Well, hopefully this brings some awareness so that other folks can get involved. This is like Christmas. It's really exciting just to see all these fresh things. Maruka's wish list included supplies for social emotional learning, fine motor skills. <laughs> like my rug and much more it was exciting as well as like a little bit of pressure lifted off of me and my para is so meaningful for us small things the students love it just as much as we do <laughs> that maruka says make a big impact in the classroom really it's just about empowering them and giving them the resources they need to be able to flourish and and make an impact on this world each and every teacher at Monroe, Rocky Mountain Prep Southwest, and Kip Sunshine Peak Elementary Schools got to open up their bins of school supplies today. The Tuckman Family Foundation says they hope this inspires others to volunteer or donate items to their local schools. They'd hope. Yeah, parents can also help out with teachers too, can't they? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Why not? You could ask, you could literally walk up to your kid's teacher and be like, what do you need? Yeah. Do you need Kleenex? They, they were so excited about paper towels today. The teachers yeah. were excited to get that. You know, it's sometimes those basic things that really makes a difference for a classroom. Mm -hmm. well, good job. Thank you so much, Courtney.